Hi there, it's Annalise again at Everything Art. So today we are going to be using gel plays for the absolute beginner. So we're going to do some really easy to use techniques that do have nice results. So it's a bit of fun for you to play with. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one we're going to do, you can't really get any easier than this. Now for this video, I'm using golden fluid paint. You can use any kind of acrylic paints. There's lots of other products you can use as well, but for this we're using acrylic paint and I've got the goldens. I've got quinacridone, um, I have to read it. Nickel Azo Gold, lovely name, no idea what it means. Um, I've got the Quinecridone Magenta and I've got the Thalo Turquoise. I'll just throw those on there. You don't need very much at all, really need very little because you want things to dry quickly with gel plates. Um, so we're going to grab a piece of string. So any string will do. If you've got a fibre string, it'll work and just show the fibres. I've just got some basic white parcel ta uh, tape string today. So we're going to throw that on there. Use a brayer. You can use any kind of brayer, large brayer, small brayer, rubber brayers that you can get. Just let it's just whatever. I'm using a little one just because it's easy on this little mat. And I'm just going to go in and just add some colour. Now take off the excess in between so the colours don't get muddy. And I'm just going to put those on there. And a little bit of magenta. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the string and can you just throw it on? We're not worried about where it goes. You can use lots of string or a little bit of string. Um, the difficulty of using a lot of string is when you put the paper on, it's sometimes quite hard to get in between the gaps if there's too many big lumps of string, if that makes sense. I've tried it, it's not easy. Now I'm going to use some um, extra strength tissue paper for this because it's a lot easier to get in the gaps with. You can use paper, um, but for this one, we're just going to use this. And the easiest way is literally to place your hand on like that and it automatically sticks. So then we're just going to go through and you've literally just got to keep patting and make sure you get into all the gaps between the strings and go through like this. And the nice thing about tissue paper is you can exactly see what you're doing, which is really, really handy. So I think that's pretty much done. So all we have to do is peel this back and we get a really pretty piece of paper ready for collaging. So for our second technique, we're going to use the same paints again to make life simple. Um, these are fluid paints, so they are a lot thinner than the other kind of heavy body acrylics. You can use either. It's just these are much thinner and much easier to use. So I'm just using these for simplicity. So I'm just going to, like I say, stick with the same colours because they're so pretty and I love them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put on, these are just pieces of card. Literally, I think it's watercolour card, so it doesn't matter what you use. You could even use paper, but you'd only be able to use it once. And I'm just going to randomly pop these on. It doesn't matter where they go, unless you particularly want to make a design. I'm just putting those on like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is use a stencil. And as you see, I really take care of my stencils and clean them properly. Not pop that there now this time i'm going to just take back so holding the stencil in place and i'm taking some of the paint off um let me string like that and then we're just going to peel up the stencil and we're going to carefully Maneuver the pieces of paper off like this. And I can show you, I don't think you see that through that side. So you can sort of see what we've got so far. And I want to be able to put another colour behind this. So this just needs to be dry. And this time we're going to use, I think we'll go in with a bit of white, just a basic white acrylic, and maybe a little bit of gold as well. And then grabbing the brayer. We're just going to put this colour onto here, the excess. Now can you see here where the white paint is really quite thick? Don't be afraid, just gently go in and smoosh it around a little bit. If you don't want solid lumps of colour, then feel free to go in. People often are afraid to touch the gel plates. Don't be. Okay, so we're just going to grab the tissue paper. Now when you use this, there's a shiny side and a matte side. The matte side is brilliant because it absorbs better than the shiny side. The shiny side will work, but the matte side down is better. So we just put it on and smooth that on. 
and we need it to be really well sucked down. Don't worry about the little wrinkles that come on the tissue paper. These do not show up when you actually lift the print. Just smooth it on and we kind of almost want the paper to feel warm under a finger so we know that it's actually taken the paint. And then we're going to just peel it up and create the texture with stencils and masks. So for our third technique, we're going to use masking tape. It doesn't have to be the low tack, it can be any kind of masking tape that you have to hand. So all I'm gonna do is making sure that your gel plate is nice and dry from the last techniques we've done. We're just going to, you can use the whole piece, but I think it's a little bit thick what I want to do because I'm using a small gel plate. Perhaps if I use a larger gel plate, I'd perhaps go for wider tape. But for this, I'm just going to place the tape kind of anywhere I feel, there's no pattern. It's just wherever I fancy putting it. So I'm just going to rip a few pieces, stick myself to it, professional as ever. Um, that one there. And I'm kind of anchoring it a little bit on the paper because it does lift up. Um, and you'll see that it just lifts up. Just just pat it down, it'll be fine. There we go. I think maybe one more piece. I think that one just there, like that. Okay, so that's the gel plate ready to use. I'm going in with the same colours again, um, the fluid paint. So I'm just going to a little tiny bit more of that one. It's not quite enough there, I don't think. And maybe a little bit more of the gold. I think we've got enough blue. So I know it looks quite a lot on here, but it genuinely isn't. It's only because it's been spread out with the brayer and it's very thin paint. So I'm going to grab the brayer and we're going to go in. Put some of the blue. I just love this colour combination. I think it's just, you kind of can't go wrong with it. Always looks nice. Just going to put those there. So we're going to grab the stencil and we're going to pop it on top here. And we're going to use it and take a little bit of paint off, just so there's not excessive. So there's a little bit of space there for stuff. And then we're going to put paint back through it. So I'm going to grab some gold and perhaps a little bit of white as well. And I'm going to use a small brayer and load that up. And then we're going to go through like this. And then we're going to peel back the stencil. And then we're going to remove, and I can never remember which order I put these in. You can actually use this. It's like a homemade washi tape afterwards in your journal, which is really pretty. I have to just move that. And then we're just going to grab some paper and pop that on top. Press that down. Remember, I put it rough side down because it's more absorbent. And then we're going to peel off. And you get a nice, pretty effect. Another thing we could do, like with the one we've just done, is you can actually create a background first. And all that involves is using your gel plate and putting on some basic colours, uh, like a gold and a cream together. And what happens is you can create one background and then you can do this effect on the top so you've actually got a solid colour behind so you've got a choice it's the same technique we're just done in a slightly different way um, we've got different versions of the same thing going on that one clearly did not work and at least let the gel plate dry out too much um, what do we got here we've got some stencils these are just just the stencils nothing else no masks no, nothing else and it's literally stencil down and peel back took the stencil off and that's the ghost image of the same stencil so there's some really simple things you can do with the products you've already got masking tape again with a background behind it um, and you can see a slightly different stencil through that one so there's lots of things you can do and just literally just play around and just have fun with it and experiment you'll learn lots enjoy <laughs>